his sales bid in Nepal. He has contributed to most of his communities as many role in both camps. And it's time to join the welcoming Mr. Kakahase. so much good afternoon everyone and warm welcome to my session i'm ganga kafle i'm co-founder of template cell and apparently i run uh, wb entire wordpress blog and i'm i was the lead organizer of what can be done in 2018 which was held on december 22 in our beautiful city biratnagar and currently i'm a team review lead of wordpress.org um, uh, lots of themes have been submitted in WordPress.org and we manage reviews those themes and um, uh, uh, report our reviews there and then author fixes, fixes those things and resubmit it and we set them live as well. So today I'm going to talk about make your theme on WordPress.org standards because WordPress.org have its own standard of theme if you are a developer and if you are planning to submit a theme in wordpress starter or if you are a wordpress developer and if you want to contribute as a theme reviewer in wordpress starter today this session is very helpful for you so you can uh, learn a lots of things about the standard of wordpress themes so we need to think about think before you submit themes on wordpress.org mainly we'll focus on these things as well as how we can proceed how we can start the theme review of wordpress.org as well you may have these questions should my theme be based on standards of course your theme must be in wordpress.org standards your theme must follow the wordpress.org guidelines otherwise your theme will not get approved and if you are planning to contribute as a theme reviewer you need to know these guidelines of wordpress startup themes you may have contributed in documentation you may have contributed in core or something like that but if you are planning to join this theme review uh, contribution you can learn and you can contribute in the theme review session so I think this session will be very beneficial if you are planning to develop your theme or if you are planning to contribute as a theme reviewer. Uh, may I ask you, how many of you are a theme developer here? Can you please raise your hand? Theme developer, please. Oh, that's exciting. And how many of you are a theme reviewer here? Theme reviewer? Have you ever tried reviewing themes? Oh, good. Uh, you develop. Uh, may I ask you, you develop theme for WordPress.org or something like that? Yeah. Uh, no, never. Just for clients. Just oh, that, uh, uh, means uh, you properly follow the coding standard of WordPress or some or not? You need. Uh, well, I tried. Okay. okay. May, maybe 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 uh, uh, from the session from the next day, uh, I think you will do these practices as well. Now. If you are a developer or if you are a, if you are planning to start a theme review set up theme develop in environment first you need to make the environment to develop theme or you need to make the environment to review themes first how we can in your in your wordpress files debug to in wb config file because it shows the error and warning while developing themes or while reviewing themes Check this file wbconfig.psp and enable the debug to mode. And import demo data from tools import because if you import the, this demos data so that you can check the alignment, the design, uh, how the post looks, how the page looks, so that this is beneficial to check the design proposed. So if you review themes or if you're developing themes without the demo content, I think uh, it's not easy to see the layout and the look so this is very important for you and we have three plugins this is theme audit and this is theme check and this is theme sniffer 
this themecheck plug is in, plug in is available in WordPress data repository whereas this theme sniffer and theme audit are only in github you can download those plugins from github and install it on your local environment and then you can start reviewing themes just install these three plugins these three plugins will help you to start reviewing and this plugin so, will show you lots of issues easily just you can install this and you can check inside appearance and then theme check or theme audit just you can click and select the themes all the errors warning notices will display there and you need to check them all the notice the warnings uh, shown by these plugins are just a recommended part it's recommended to solve them however those required things or errors and required things need to be solved otherwise your theme will not get approved in wordpress.org maybe your reviewer will close your theme instantly or he will suggest you to solve these issues now what are the theme standards what your theme should have you need to know if you are planning to develop themes or if you are planning to review the themes you need to know these things what are the standards what are the standards that you need to worry while developing themes or while reading themes now your theme must be gpl compatible how many of you are aware about this license gpl license no general public license you know yeah gpl because wordpress is totally gpl even plugins even themes everything in wordpress is gpl and this theme is also gpl all the images all the libraries for example jl css whatever you use in theme it must be gpl this for example if you are using images in your theme that must be gpl gpl compatible for example cc0 license mit license are those gpl compatible license for example if you randomly google an image and if you put it in your theme that is not allowed and there are lots of uh, free um, images sites like pixaway unsplash and what if pixels and lots of themes but uh, they have frequently changed their license for example pixaway have recently changed their license and now it's not working fine and so uh, using images of pixaway is not allowed and using images of unsplash is not allowed even they are free but they are not gpl compatible so you need to check uh, the handbook of theme review guidelines theme guidelines and you can there are a few website solutions you can uh, download the images from there means you need to check the images or library or what whatever you are using in theme that must be gpl compatible and the theme must be error free and secure if your theme is with errors if your theme shows the warnings if your theme shows the notices that is strictly prohibited that is totally not allowed in wordpress.org so while developing theme i already told you that you need to enable your setup environment that is debug true so that it will show the warning and notices so theme must be error free and secure if there are some malicious things in theme that is not allowed it must be error free warning and notices are not allowed you can use unique prefix to reduce conflict with plugins means if your theme has a unique slog if you if your uh, theme is theme name is unique and it will not conflict with the plugin so always use the unique name not a general random name because there are um, uh, more than 6000 plus uh, themes are submitted in wordpress.org and among them around four five thousand are live and uh, if you submit those names it will not upload in wordpress.org so always change the random name unique name whatever and your theme must be translation ready because today we are in another country and lots of audience may not know the what english language so your theme must be translation ready if your theme is not translation ready not translation ready it will not approve in wordpress data so theme must be translation ready this is the important required things for wordpress themes no morally offensive for example make your theme which is perfect everyone who want to use it never use offensive themes or any resources because you, you don't allow to use image um, that may not suit to the proper society or something like that so your theme must be pleasant your theme must be suitable for everyone who want to use their theme because wordpress.org is totally free and everyone can visit the website download the theme and they need to use it but if your theme is offensive like that so it is not allowed so 
we never approve those themes we never said like those themes and if uh, anyone any author did those things we totally banned the theme or suspend those themes now oh. important things to take care about in this theme development while theme development or while theme building what are the important things for example theme has the primary file like standard css functions.php something like that if your theme for example if your theme name is 2017 i i, I posted here a snapshot of this screenshot of the 2017 theme theme name 2017 and here is what text domain is 2017 for example if your theme has two words like 20 space 17 you can write text domain like this or you can put hyphen inside the 20 hyphen 17 that are the things you need to care about for example if your theme name is bangkok your text domain name is bangkok and your theme folder name must be bangkok if your theme name is bangkok tokyo then you can your folder name must be bangkok hyphen tokyo or bangkok tokyo in a same word and the text domain must be this bangkok tokyo and this tax we have tax tax uh, help to uh, filter the theme while in the theme page and these tax need to be mentioned and we have other normal tags and subject tags subject tags need to be put uh, at least one but not more than three so uh, you need to check the tag page uh, how many tags are written here how many subject tags are written here you need to check the subject tags as well and license uri and license you need to mention this which license you are using you are using gpl version 2 or gpl version 2 or later or gpl version 3 you need to mention which license you are using because if you don't mention the license we will not approve the theme because it must be gpl so uh, generally lots of themes are using gpl version 2 or later so here is license gnu general public license and license uri the uh, the license uri of this gpl license and you need to write the version over here and each time you update the theme you need to upgrade this version for example this version in 1.4 and if you want to update the theme you need to put something like 1.5 or 1.4.1 1.4.2 or something like that so just bomb the version and upgrade the theme and there here is author and author your wordpress dot or username like that and here is author uri and here is theme URI. This auth theme URI and author URI are optional. You, I don't whether you put it or not, it is optional. But if you put it, it must be valid. For example, if you are author, for example, you, you can write the theme URI here. But theme URI must have the information about the theme. For example, if you if you write the theme URI here, www.abcd.com, and if there is nothing mentioned that is not allowed so that this must be valid length and author uri unite uh, you know you can write your own blog or your own website uri over here and here is theme uri and author uri you need to mention that these are optional text domain i already discussed about and tax and subject tax you need to check here subject tax these subject tax are not allowed more than three but at least one for example subject tags are like blog food and drinks photography like that you can you need to check those subject tags in a theme handbook page uh, i'll um, uh, you can just google what is uh, theme handbook and you will get the results or you can i'll show you the steps in the next slide as well and function.php file you need to include js for example hard coded js is not allowed for example, uh, while developing HTML template, you use uh, JS and CSS hard coded. Likewise, you are not allowed to use in WordPress theme. For example, if you include WP into jQuery, that is not allowed because most popular JavaScript are loaded by WordPress itself. So you don't need to include jQuery. You don't need to include. You don't need to put masonry uh, masonry.js file in the theme because they are already loaded in WordPress. So most popular JavaScripts are already loaded in, so you don't need to uh, load um, 
JavaScript and something popular JavaScript. And do not load popular script. I already mentioned here. And prefixing, prefix with theme slot. For example, for example, in uh, in this case, uh, what uh, 2017 is a text domain. We call it slog as well. And you need to prefix all the functions name, class names, global variable, images size, uh, handle name, filter name need to be prefixed with this theme slot. For example, if you are going to create a function for function function name that function name must be prefixed for example function banker that banker need to be prefixed with the theme name so that if your theme name is uh, what abcd your uh, uh, your this uh, slog is what abcd so those abcd need to be put in everywhere like this psp class name global variables external hook filters script handles images size names now, here validation, sanitization, and escaping. This is the security purpose of WordPress theme, and you need to know how we can escape, how we can validate, how we can make the uh, theme sanitize. You need to check while developing themes or while reviewing themes. Sanitization, validation, and escaping is the most important factor for make your theme secure. Validate and or sanitize untrusted data before in entering into database. For example, if you make a field in your theme, for example, in customizer or something like that, you need to validate those data before entering into the database. For example, here is the sanitize email. We can use this function to sanitize, sanitize the email, sanitize text field for the text field data and escape URL raw, fcnit, etc. are for this escape URL raw is for the URL and absolute is for the absolute integer. So that you need to put these validation validation functions while coding. <laughs> After that, all untrusted data should be escaped before output. For example, if you make a field for a URL and while uh, give the output, you need to uh, put escape URL and then the field name so that your URL will escape and that will be secure for example here is sanitize email escape attribute escape url escape html fcnit etc are the this escape function we can use in theme but you need to use the proper escape function for the proper use for example if you are going to escape the email you, you don't need to you are not allowed to use escape attribute escape attribute is for escaping the html attributes and this escape html is generally for the removing html tags in your field so you need to use the proper escape functions you need to use the proper sanitization and validation function while coding customizer data must be sanitized before saving and escape it before output for example wordpress only support the customizer api not setting api theme options like that is not allowed so customizer api while developing settings in customizer you need to use this sanitize callback and sanitize sanitize callback function for example sanitize text field for example if you are going to make a field for text field you need to use sanitize callback sanitize text field for example if you are going to um, uh, make the field for url sanitize callback escape url raw for example if you are going to uh, make the field for integer you need to sanitize callback you need to make the function for the integer for example if you are going to make the checkbox you need to sanitize make the function for checkbox there are lots of sanitization escaping and validation function available in wordpress but uh, if uh, there is not available you need to make your own function and you need to put it there otherwise your data will not save and your theme will show the error and issues now what are not allowed keep it in mind the before below listed things what are the things that are totally not allowed while developing themes or while um, submitting themes in the wordpress.org if you are planning to make themes right now or from uh, if you are planning to start developing themes from today and if you are planning to submit themes in wordpress.org or something like that or if you are um, planning to make your own mar marketplace or source for wordpress themes you need to develop the proper standard coded theme so that 
this uh, this all standards are also uh, uh, useful for the theme forest and popular other marketplaces as well because they also have the similar structure similar way of coding and similar requirement like wordpress.org for example custom post type including custom post type in themes is not allowed in wordpress.org custom post type for example if you are going to make a custom post type for theme for testimonial for something like that that is not allowed if you are uh, if you need to put the custom post type you need to develop the compatible plugins and plugin must be in wordpress.org but i think there there are very there are various um, uh, marketplaces who allows uh, this custom post type taxonomies but uh, wordpress.org not allowed this custom post type and taxonomies and now plugins not allowed to bundle plugins in themes can recommend a plugin and those plugin must be in wordpress.org if you are planning to submit theme in wordpress.org and if you bundle the plugin in the theme that is not allowed but you can recommend plugin you can recommend plugin via different methods and but the recommended plugin must be inside the wordpress.org repository and that um, we recommend uh, the um, plugin must be regularly updated and something like that and short codes short codes are not allowed you can you are not allowed to make short codes on theme for example you can uh, make the field to enter the short code but making short code in theme is not allowed now screenshot size for example this is the screenshot size size of my theme and uh, this screenshot size is in 4 is to 3 ratio means 880 by 660 or 1200 by 900 pixel size 4 is to 3 image screenshot need to be recommended sorry required and the recommended size is 1200 by 900 you can put 880 by 660 as well but for the high screen, resol screen resolution we recommend 1200 by 900 image size now just, just a few things you need to care about WPN, WPNP of WordPress always in uppercase I think you all know about these things WNP of WordPress is always in uppercase remove unnecessary commented codes if you comment while developing themes and uh, before submitting theme, you need to check all the commented codes and you need to remove this because those, those garbage things are not allowed in themes no customization no customization the WordPress admin you are not allowed to customize the WordPress admin panel like um, in your own color something like that because the admin must be perfectly fine while activating all themes redirection is not allowed after theme activated for example while activating theme while activating theme and lots of themes do the uh, redirection and send it to the traffic to their website and this is also not allowed it's not allowed to remove the default functionality of code default functionality is not allowed to remove from the themes don't include development files i uh, lots of time i'll recommend to don't include development files because you can uh, put development files in github or something like that so uh, wordpress.org repository is not uh, for the development purpose there are lots of uh, uh, simple users they don't know how to use that those development file like sas something like that so you can uh, put those development file in github or something places but i don't recommend to put in the theme folder premium theme shop should be gpl for example if you uh, host theme in wordpress starter and if you sell the premium themes from your website those premium themes also be gpl if uh, your free themes if you have free themes in wordpress and uh, uh, if you send the traffic with theme URI to your website that website themes premium themes also must be gpl and you need to mention the license in your theme something in places the, all the themes all the premium themes are gpl compatible uh, don't include backup files on theme folder for example commented code or something like that oh i uh, so lots of uh, authors say that i will use this theme uh, i i will use this functionality later so that i just commented i will use this later so this is not allowed so uh, don't include backup files or something like that in your theme folder no analytics or tracking for example tracking code or analytics code or something that is not allowed in themes no sharing api api is allowed facebook twitter sharing api is not allowed but just you can uh, just put some simple facebook um, link you can put that but uh, this api is not allowed save option in a single array means you are not allowed to make the 
new table or a new uh, row in a database. You are not allowed after activating the theme. No overriding admin bars. This is always discussed. No URL sort and used in the theme. For example, geo.gl like that. Uh, those sort and URL is not allowed. All code and design should be your own legal yours. Even uh, WordPress is GPL, but code must be legally yours. You, you, you are not allowed to copy other things and oh, this is GPL and let me change the name and submit in again in WordPress.org because this GPL, but you can re rewrite this code, you can reuse that code, but totally you are not allowed to put in WordPress.org by copying other things. Use WordPress functionality and features first available. There are lots of features available in WordPress code. We recommend you to use those features first and then only it. For example, background image, header text color, something like that is already, already available in WordPress code. So, don't do that. Cost, uh, uh, you are not allowed to duplicate existing features. Uh, and then custom favicon, uh, favicon is not allowed. It's core functionality. You need to know uh, uh, these tiny things. Check name collision before submitting the theme in WordPress.org. For example, if you are planning to submit a theme named OceanWB, for example, OceanWB theme is already in WordPress.org. Uh, those theme will not upload in WordPress.org. For example, if uh, the theme is not in WordPress.org, but if the theme is in other places like popular themes, something like that, those name, names are also not allowed to upload in WordPress.org. So that check name collision. For, you can just Google it and you, you can easily find the results, those things is available or not. So, instead of uh, normal name, you can just check the random name and you can put the theme name. Submit one theme at a time. Just one theme in WordPress.org at a time. You are not allowed to submit multiple things at a time. If the theme grows closed or live, after then you can submit another theme again. If you are going to uh, review or if you are going to develop the themes, you can do these things. This is very useful tips. Check existing live tickets so that you can know what are the required things, how review process works and you can follow the theme guidelines handbook and start reviewing other things. This is also the best method to learn how we can develop things. If you review other things, you can know how code works, what are the basic things uh, that we need to worry about while developing themes. And you can join theme review channel on Slack. Uh, attend meeting regularly and contact with modes and admins. You can uh, join the theme review channel and you can ask, hey, I'm going to review a theme, how I can proceed or I'm reviewing theme and I got this problem and also is saying that this is allowed but I don't think so. You can ask any random question related to theme review or theme issues. So, this is the best way to learn the theme development and theme review. Now, how theme review process works? You, can, you need to submit a theme first. It will go in a wait queue and then review and solve issues or your theme will close. Uh, means you, need, you will communicate with the reviewer in this step. And then you need to wait the admin review and admin like me and there are few other admins will check the final and then they set your theme live or they set your closed means not approved. If your theme passes all this step and if your theme go here means your the chances of getting your theme live is high but not sure if your theme are, theme got lots of issues by, while checking by the admin it will close and you, you need to submit again and the, you need to start from the beginning it's take around two to three months uh, for this process this is where my presentation ends and hope the quality wordpress development begins you can contact me here. Questions? Do you have any other questions? Thank you so much. Questions? Do you have any questions? No questions? Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs>